Hey, I'm Jung Wan, one of the co-founders of Illicit, and today I'm going to show you how you can combine papers you find in Illicit with papers you might already have or want to upload into Illicit so that you can do more and go deeper into papers from multiple sources. This is now possible with a set of features we're launching called Illicit Notebooks. And there's a whole playlist of lots of different workflows and features of notebooks that I'll link to, and you can learn more about how to get the most out of notebooks by watching those. So let's get started. I might already have a couple papers in my Illicit library that are related to lung cancer. I can always upload more by PDF. I can import papers from Sotero. And so I have a couple papers that I might've found from different sources, and, but I wanna find a few more and analyze both. So I'll start by asking a question to search over Illicit's papers. And I'll start with, what is the frequency of lung cancer bi of biopsies maybe? among lung cancer patients in the US. And this will search through our database of about 125 million papers. It will give me a list of eight papers to start, but then I can keep loading more and finding more and more papers. This is a great way to kind of expand my search and get a lot of papers. So that's, I, have a, I have a bunch of papers here. I can collapse this for now. And then I can also uh, add this step, extract data from uploaded papers. I'll click that and then I can select all the papers that I've collected from outside of Illicit and bring them here as well. And again, you can from here upload more papers if you want. And so you can like control A if you know if you wanted to select a bunch of papers, you could select all in a folder, so on and so forth. So in this case, I'll select three papers from my set to analyze and they'll start populating in Illicit. And then now I can expand I can expand my earlier search of Elicit's public papers and I have, I can see both all of the public papers and in this step I can see all of my private papers. From here I can select the papers that are most interesting to me or that I most want to analyze. Maybe it'll be a couple from the public set. Maybe it's all of my private set. And then there are a few things I can do here. I can create a new table from the papers that I've selected. So if I've reviewed some of these and these are my favorite papers, I can create a new table and then I can go to deeper from there and analyze them in more detail. I can summarize the abstracts for these papers and I can chat with these papers. I can also continue going broader, uploading more papers, asking more questions, slightly different framings of the query and collecting more papers. And I can also just get a list of concepts across lots of different papers. So I'll show you how to do the first one. If you create a new table with these selected papers, now I have, let's see, these three current and future liquid biopsies, liquid biopsies from my uploaded set. And then the two from my, the ones that I found publicly here. And then I can start going deeper and maybe learning more about the methodology and digging into these, this set of papers. So this is a great way to if you have gone broad, after that, picking some of the papers that are most relevant to you or that seem the highest quality and then drilling down deeper. Then again, you can select these papers and specifically generate a summary of the abstracts just for these papers. And you can also select these papers and chat with them. So you can maybe say compare and contrast these papers. So you can see how you can bring in papers from multiple sources. So you can search over Elicit's extensive database of 125 million papers across all different domains, different journals, open access papers, paywalled papers, and you can bring in papers you might've collected over the course of your research from different databases you have access to or papers you've reviewed, papers you've been recommended. You can bring them all in one place and analyze them together. You can add columns to extract data about all the papers. You can add columns at, you know, of your own papers or add a, over, over the papers of a specific query to kind of roll different papers out. And then once you have the papers that you're most interested in, you can dig deeper by summarizing the abstracts of those papers or chatting with those papers. And you can continue to select the papers you're interested in and operating over those. So it helps you go broad by collecting papers from multiple sources and then go deep by narrowing that that kind of broad base of papers into the set you're most interested in and then running more analysis on top of them. I hope this helps you be really comprehensive and find themes across different sources of papers or different papers you've collected. Thanks.